We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. I'm today, Faithful Acolytes. We take a look at this. And what this is from the Bravado Spice Company, where magic is real, not in this sauce, however. We have the Manuka Honey Passion Fruit Hot Sauce. They're calling it hot. Not, not, not what I would call it, I don't think. Here's some of the stuff. New label design for the Bravado team. Let's take us a little look here at what we have. Passion fruit juice, concentrate, Manuka honey, red ghost pepper puree, champagne vinegar, lemon juice from concentrate. We have orange juice from concentrate. And we have saffron. And we have a very, very slow, sludgy sauce. This actually has been sitting out at this point for not quite an hour. And it's warm enough now that it moves much, much faster than normal. When you get this cold, it, it is like trying to pour jello. Very, 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 very slow. Here, you can see it's... So there is an off, it's almost a chemically, chemical sort of smell and flavor to this. I can smell it actually now as I pour this. And it is, I'm doing ribbons. It is, uh, it's like taffy, it's a hot sauce taffy. It is one of the most frustrating things I think I've encountered in a sauce in quite a while. And I can't place what it is, but it is very difficult for me to go on with this sauce because of that flavor. And I can smell it even now, but color-wise, it does look pretty good. It looks like, um, almost like a brown sugar caramel color, I would say. But you can see it. It doesn't want to move very much. Very, very rigid. I don't, it's too warm now. I can't turn it upside down. I'm not sure it would stick well enough to this spoon that doesn't like things to be stuck to it. But yeah, very, I mean, you can see it's, this would be running into my hand if it was like a Louisiana style sauce, just doing this. So, uh, all right, might as well get this over with. It's like sludge. Mm. It flows like really slow caramel or molasses. More probably more like molasses, but the oh, the flavor is. I'm not a fan. I've mentioned it numerous times. I'm not a fan of sour sauces, and I have just been bombed with them in this year. 2023, as I film this, I don't think this is going to be posted till 2024, but I don't know what it is this year. I'm just getting all these sour sauces, and this is another one, and I don't understand how something that has honey that far forward is the second thing. How can something that has honey that far forward in the mix be this sour? 
Manuka honey, I thought was just, you know, New Zealand honey. That that was the long and the short of it for me. I thought that was just a New Zealand honey. I can't imagine it's supposed to be sour. What's interesting is you can get little bits of the champagne vinegar, which is quite nice. Passion fruit, not so much. Uh, there's, oh, is there lemon? Yeah, there's lemon in this too. Maybe that's what's what's doing it. I don't know. I don't. There's an off flavor to this, and maybe it's the saffron. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. But this is one I opened a while ago as I filmed this, and it has been sitting, and I, I was kind of excited to get to it with bravado. So bravado, a few sauces I had from them. I had them and I went, wow, these are not great at all. And I don't, I don't want them. You know, I just, uh, I didn't like them. Then the hot ones came along, the show came along. And it, it changed my mind about the ghost pepper blueberry because that, that is a sauce that's quite good on wings. I don't think it's good outside of that, but it is quite good on wings. And then the Akamiso I thought was pretty good. The... Black Garlic Reaper was quite good. I thought, okay, so maybe they're making decent stuff now. This being one of the newer sauces uh, that they have out there. And, you know, ghost peppers and honey. I thought, yeah, yeah. When I was shopping for this, I was really looking strongly looking at, at at honey hot sauces I, I don't remember why but i was at the time so but this is uh i i don't know if i can call it a bad sauce it just is, is a sauce that is almost completely incompatible with me as much as i love ghost peppers i really don't like the extraneous uh, flavor elements that are in this, whatever they are. I, I don't know what it is. I've had saffron in other things before, and I don't remember a flavor ever like this. It, so the flavor is that it, it's chemically, it tastes like something is actually wrong. And, yeah, I don't know. I mean, heat-wise, I gave this a two... It's it's hot, but you know, and you can't agitate it either. This is way too thick to ever agitate. So maybe as I get further into it, there will be less of that. I, I don't know. I, I just know that this is a sauce that I, I keep like intentionally not using because I find it overall to be somewhat unpleasant. But let's... Uh, Let's just wait away on some food here. Just have a chicken tendy here that I've decided for whatever reason to use a fork and knife with. I don't, I don't know why. I half wonder if it's a champagne vinegar. I think there are way too many astringent notes in here. That, that I think is a major issue. I don't know where this sauce is meant to go. I haven't found where it combines with anything that, that, that I like it. Here I'm just going to suffer through it. I'm just going to gut it out. I don't really get any honey flavor. Which is another problem. What kind of sucks about this is that because there's saffron in it, and saffron is an ungodly expensive spice, 
Th this is one of the more expensive sauces that I've picked up lately. And just to have it to the point where I don't want to particularly continue on is kind of a pain. I mean, lesson learned. I had no intention ever of getting another bravado sauce. Unless it was on the show. And, and I think I'm going to go back to that. I love ghost peppers. There's some of the heat from them here. I'm pretty sure it's that champagne vinegar, but this is so sour, and it's I don't know what you do with this. I mean, if you like sour sauces, you probably will like it more than me, or if you really like champagne vinegar, which is what I'm assuming is giving that that funky flavor note I don't like either. Admittedly, I'm kind of fussy about champagnes. I, I don't like the dry ones especially well. There's not a way to agitate this. It just, this is diminishing results. Everything I put it on, I almost always wish I hadn't. Certainly a very unique flavor, but ultimately the, the sauce is a pretty much unusable one for me and, and that's, a, that's a shame. Not just for the cost, not, not just, I mean it's a pretty color, it's the honey, I, I really feel like this could have been a great sauce and it, it isn't. It, it actually is um, probably going to be binned after this video. You know, it's a... I probably had about half of this, I would say. I'm just not a fan of sour sauces. And, and that this was sour is just baffling. Oh, hey there, I'm finally getting a little bit of the passion fruit. That's the first time, incidentally, used half this bottle and I'm only now just getting little hints of the passion fruit. It's the first ingredient. So, uh, yeah, I don't like sauces this thick particularly either, unless they're really, really tasty. Which this is not. Uh, this is a, about as near total of misfire as the sauce could be for me. I, I, <laughs> I, I don't know where I would ever use it. It just, uh, it, it's a shame. I, I, it, it's not unpalatable enough that I wasn't going to do a video on it. Like, I, I could slug my way through this entire bottle, but why? Right. What do I always say? Life is too short for bad sauces. And uh, unfortunately for the, for me anyway, this is a bad hot sauce. I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll just leave it there. But that was the Bravado Manuka Honey Passion Fruit Hot Sauce. Now go four in peace. To serve the flame.